Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how the expansion cards that are included with Colt Super Express work. The game is ages 8 and up, 3 to 7 players, and takes just 15 minutes to play. Let me show you how the expansion works. The Reflex, Horse, and Time Travel expansions can be used individually or as a group to enhance your gameplay. Let me show you how that works. Uh, you place your time travel machine up here at the front at the beginning, and then every player will just add in these two cards to the four cards they already have. You will still only select three cards to play per round, but you have an extra two to choose between. So what do they do? The reflex card works if, uh, let's say green is up here and yellow was the first player and they, um, let's say they shot their first card that they played was shooting red. So red is shot on his back. When you play the reflex card, when it comes to your turn, you don't have a recover action that you have to do. What you do is you pop back up and shoot whoever is in for your line of sight first. Uh, which isn't necessarily the shooter if you've gotten shot in the back. If it was like this was the setup and yellow had shot red, uh, if he shot him, he'd go over here. And then when he played his reflex card, he would pop back up and shoot green off the train. And if you play this card and this player did something else, he moved up and now it's your turn and you aren't stunned and this pops up, uh, you, uh, you shoot yourself in the foot and you just fall down. You've stunned yourself right where you are. You don't change train cars or top or bottom or any orientation or anything like that. You just have stunned yourself and you get to lay down. If you play the horse card, uh, imagine it allows you to jump off the train onto your horse and run up to the front and you are inside the locomotive. Even if you were on the top over here, you are inside the locomotive facing forward because you can't jump um, from the horse onto the top of the thing. Uh, even if there were other players in here, uh, it doesn't, it's not the usual rule where you have your back to the side. You are, uh, facing frontmost like this. So that would be a situation where this would be what it would look like at the end, not on the top, not laying down. This is how you end up. This card can save you if you've been shot off the train. So if on Green's turn, he played um, his, his card to shoot and he shot you off, you and all is not lost if the very next card coming up is your horse card. Then you are saved by your horse, you are not stunned, and you come up to the front of the train and land right here. This card does not save you if at the end of a round, green shot you off as their last move and then you went up for your first move the next time, you wanna to get to play the horse card and come back on. Uh, that would not work. Also, if at the end of a round, uh, you he shoots you, and then while you are stunned in this final car, you play the horse card. This is just like any other card in that situation. If you've been shot and this card comes up, you only uh, wake up. It's only if you've been shot off the train, um, either the front or the back, although it wouldn't, um, the time travel would do something else for you. Uh, then you would, um, then it saves you and brings you up to the front. So if you haven't been shot at all or you've been shot off the side of the train is when the horse card works to bring you up to the front of the locomotive. And here is how the time travel machine works. You put your DeLorean in the front of your train ahead of the locomotive at the beginning of, beginning of the game. And we're saying we're around in and the first train car has already been taken off and the loot would have been awarded to Red for being in the back. And first player has moved to the next person, which is green. So green would go first and she climbs up, yellow's turn, she climbs up, red moves forward, and now green shoots yellow. And you can choose to either 
move on to the time machine, or you can be shot onto the time machine, and it doesn't matter if you are on the top of the locomotive or inside. If you go to the time machine, it's not like you're hanging out here, you just go back to the beginning, and uh, you are inside the train facing forward in the very back. And you have traveled through time, so all of your cards from this round start over, no matter where you are. Even if it was your, um, if the play is still going, um, and you and you get shot on here, even if you've played all three of your cards, you you've gone through the time machine and you need to start playing them again. So Green did that, and you now will replay your first, uh card from the game and you were not stunned even though you were shot you traveled through time so you have been saved so you move up and then this is how the rest of the round would play out um red shoots no one's there green turns around and yellow shoots and he has traveled through time and or she has traveled through time and shot uh green red goes up and you just keep on playing your cards even though everybody else is done if you're yellow and move forward um, on top your back is to the back of the train and you are saved by the time machine if you're yellow because this train car is removed at the end of the round and your loot is awarded to you and the game continues uh however if you set yourself up in a time loop and you enter the time machine more than once in the same round of play, you are also out of the game. So if you played like the horse and then head forward and that was a, a loop you were going through, then, then you're out of the game and you've lost. So that's how to use the expansion cards for Colt Super Express. They add a lot to the game, so we encourage you to try out using one of them or all of them. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.